What up, YouTube family? Your brother Mitch back at it. Uh, like I said before in the last one, you gotta be careful what you pray for, you know? Because I sure will not give it to you. And uh, you just been revealing and showing me things that's, that's coming. So, I know in the last video, it was like, uh, it was about what happened. And when I seen, you know, uh, the moon and that cylinder item in the sky and the earth, you know, catching on fire. But this one's actually a, a rapture dream. And, uh, and, it, and when I think about it, it's so funny. And it actually happened the first week of October in the Feast of Termas, even though that's past or not, but that's when it happened the weekend of that. But let me go get into it. So uh, it was me and my wife. Me and my wife and my son, I have a one year old son. And me was like walking, uh, walking down the street or whatnot. And was kind of at an intersection. Uh, they had the middle median, we call it the neutral ground in New Orleans, but it was at that point. And so while me, while me at the intersection or whatnot, I look up, I look up and it's like, I see like these beams of light coming out. Like, like this is like, pew, 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 like, you know, shooting down. And um, I'm saying to myself, man, it's the rapture, it's the rapture, it's the rapture. And all of a sudden I'm seeing people like shoot up, bang, bang, like, they, like these lights, which I believe there were angels just pulling everybody up, snatching all the, all the believers. And uh, I'm looking, I'm like, man, it's happening, it's happening. So I saw one guy, he goes up and it's like his body, like the skin off his body came off or whatnot, you know, and it just was like all bones and the bones like went down or whatnot. But what I got from that was that, you know, he, he was gone. Uh, he was raptured up. And so I'm looking and I'm like, man, why I'm not going up? You know, why, why I'm not going up? Then suddenly, all of a sudden, I'm going up. And while I'm going up, I look at my wife. I say, man, you better repent of your sins. <laughs> you know, <laughs> you better repent of your sins. You're not going up. You're not going up. And she looking at me like, what? What's, you know, like she looking up like, what? What you talking about? So I don't know if she saw it or, or, or what was going on. And so that's when I'm going up. And y'all, while I'm going up, my body, I didn't feel it going up. Like it just like no weight or nothing. And then all of a sudden, uh, I'm like high in there. I have a drone, so I be flying a drone. And it's like I'm overlooking like a city. It wasn't Earth, but it was like a city, the city uh, where I'm at. And uh, I see everything. And that's when I, I think about my wife, and so I go back down or whatnot. So I go back down, and I'm still saying, man, you better, you know, repent of your sins or whatnot. And that's when all of a sudden it went from me talking to my wife to me talking to uh, another lady. I did just get changed just like that. But while I'm talking to her, like my body is glowing, y'all. It's like, like, uh, I mean, you have fireworks in the sparkle thing that you use to light up the fire, you know, the, uh, the fireworks. That's what it was. Like my body was like sparkling like that. Like a lot of energy. Like it just was like just sparkling. And so, and it was a gold, like a gorgeous white color. Like I'm just illuminating or whatnot. And so I go to the lady and I'm like, man, repent of your sins. I'm like, man, the rapture is happening now. Like repent, like turn away from everything, whatever's going on. And I knew in her heart, like I felt it, that it was something that she was holding on. Like, even though she saw everything going on, she did not want to let whatever that was, that hurt, that was going on in her life. I'm like, arguing with the lady. I'm getting mad with her. I'm like, man, let it go. Let it go. You tripping. Like, let it go. Like, man, he going to fix all that. I'm like, man, we going to heaven right now, right now. Like, I'm just pleading with this lady so much. And she's just like, nah, that really affected me. I don't know if I can let that go. You know, she just shaking her head, like, as she's dwelling on you know what what happened to her and i'm like man just let it go and while this while this happened like my my body's still illuminating you know really really illuminating. like i could see it i'm looking at my hands and everything and uh i kept on pleading with her kept on pleading with her but she did not want to let that hurt go i'm like man and what i got from that i was like man you whatever the issue is man you just has to, our heavenly father forgave us you have to forgive others or whatnot so i don't know if it's that she 
that something happened in her life and she and God didn't answer that whenever she needed, I, I'm not sure, but it was something that she did not want to let go. Like it was, she was holding on to it. She like, nope, no, nope, I'm just how I feel. This is just what I'm going with, this is how I'm rocking. And that's when I woke up after that. So uh, I'm woken up like, man, thank you, Jesus. I'm like, man, you really, I pray about stuff like this and you really showing me. So like I say, I just want to get that out there, let y'all know. And for anyone who's watching this, if you're not a believer, man, trust me, heaven and hell is real. As soon as you die, you going either to heaven or you are you going to a place that's not of heaven or whatnot. And me and a whole lot of other believers don't want you to go there or whatnot. So it's... You can read John 3, 16 and Romans 9, 9 and 10, and you can believe in that, you can be saved. You can be saved and just go to heaven because probably a whole lot of your family members going to be up there with that. You can enjoy them, enjoy being in the presence of the Lord and just just being happy forever. You know, this eternity is a long, long time. I think people don't understand this, that it's forever. Like, you're not, like, there's no turning back. You know, like, you're going to be either in peace forever or not in peace. So y'all be blessed and uh, y'all have a good one.